Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you attempt to remove your washer's cabinet, be sure to unplug the power cord. Your first step is to move the control panel out of the way. To do this, remove the screws found at either end. On some models, these screws may be located in the rear panel, or they may be covered by plastic end caps. Pull the end cap off from the top to access the screw. Remove both screws, and rotate the panel up. Some models use clips instead of screws to secure the control panel. Insert a putty knife between the control panel and the cabinet to release the clips. Unplug the wire connector and snap out the spring clips using a flathead screwdriver. Tilt the cabinet towards you, slide forward and remove. To reinstall the cabinet, slide the front edge underneath the base frame. Use your foot to push it into position. Align the two notches in each side of the cabinet with the tabs on each side of the base frame. Now ease the cabinet to match up with the rear panel. Reinstall the spring clips. Reattach the wire connector. Rotate the control panel down and lock the clips into place. Or reinstall the two screws. If applicable to your model, replace the end caps by aligning the tab with the slot at the bottom and snapping the cap into position. You're now ready to plug the appliance back in.